This episode of the LFR Weekly Update is brought to you by K-Love. Visit klove.com to stream online or find a radio station near you. Hey, what's up everybody? Michael here with your update for the week of June 9th, 2014. So this week, uh, it's the Michigan week. We are not going to Michigan, um, but we are getting ready for Sonoma and Daytona. We'll have Ken talk about what they're doing to the cars here in a bit, but first I wanted to let you know, we have a new product up in the store. If you go to lfr95.com slash store, you can get your replica hood. Uh, it is a red hood with our logos on it. They're about 12, 12 inches wide by 14 inches tall. Uh, something cool to just hang on the wall. So uh, might be a good idea to get your father one for Father's Day. Please allow about four weeks for delivery as uh, we have some production time involved on them. Go to the store and check those out. Uh, also, our, our new website is up and live. So uh, if you have not gone to LFR95.com lately, go check it out and uh, see what's new. Uh, got some pretty cool stuff up there. Uh, let us know what you think. Uh, you can let us know either on Facebook, Levine Family Racing, or on Twitter, at Levine Family 95. Alright, so it is the next day because Ken was a little nervous about getting on camera, but I uh, finally convinced him. So Ken, why don't you tell us about this week? Alright, so it's the Friday the 13th. Sonoma Prep is in full force, about to close out. Everybody's done a good job on the car. Might not be able to see it back there, but they've done a good job on everything else, just that car. It's pretty intense because it's a pretty intense car. It's something different. Michael's been in a couple times, got fitted in the car, and he's pretty comfortable with it. He's pretty jazzed up. Uh, but I think that us as a team, as a group, are more jazzed up than he is to go out there and, and show our hand. Be a new paint scheme, it's pretty intense, it's pretty cool, and it's like a breath of fresh air. It back up prep to our road course stuff. We're working on our Atlanta first primary car, which was our Texas car and it is going to be our second primary for Indianapolis. At Indianapolis, we have a brand new car that the guys just picked up from NASCAR. We've got our Bristol car that we're gonna get ready. That was also our Bristol car in the fall, or in the spring. Everybody's just trying to get everything done as much as they can, and they're doing a good job once again on it. The Daytona car, it's a, it's a new car, but it's not new to LFR. It's the same car that they had at the end of, end of last year. It's a Roush chassis car, but it's getting a lot of love. Um, and it'll have somewhat of our black paint scheme that we had at Talladega. The Talladega car, believe it or not, was a complete, almost a complete loss. So it's probably no bigger than a mini fridge right now, the chassis is. So it's pretty funny to look at, but that car is no longer. Got a lot of things going on. They just got to keep things moving. Pay attention to the details. Dot the I's, cross the T's, but you can't forget about the J's because those are the ones that will bite you. Um, I don't know what else to say? All right, well, that was Ken. Uh, he's the one you see bouncing around in the back every week, uh, so I decided to pull him in and kind of have him talk about what's going on this week. Uh, like you mentioned, uh, brand new paint scheme on the car for Sonoma. We're very excited to debut uh, the blue and black of Caleb this week. So uh, very excited about that, and uh, hopefully we'll get you some pictures of it next week. Things are going well. So just a busy week here at Alfar, and uh, thank you for watching. And tune in next week for more. What we got. Thanks. Yep. What a babbling idiot.